Hey everyone, it's been about a week since I last made a video. I've been extremely busy because I've been selected to run for my home council seat, but that's a whole different matter. So today is the 24th of February and this means that the Labour Party um, leadership um, ballots have been dropping. I literally just received my email four minutes ago, which is why I am doing this email. So I thought I would uh, basically make this video to basically share what it's like to vote in a leadership election. Then after I've done my voting, I'll show that to you live. And then we'll talk a bit about why I voted, how I voted and why you should vote for the same candidate that I voted for. Okay, so I have just voted in the Labour leadership elections and I wanted to show you live on my screen recorder what it was like to vote but then when I was voting I forgot to press record on my actual computer screen recorder so and you can't vote again so I'm sorry I can't show you that it was a mess up for me but so um, I want to talk a bit about why I voted in and how I voted in in the Labour leader in the Labour leadership election. Okay, so for leader, I voted for Rebecca Long Bailey as my first preference, and then I didn't put a second preference. And then for deputy leader, I voted for Richard Bergen as first preference, and then Dawn Butler as my second preference, and then I didn't put a third, fourth, and fifth preference. I just voted for those two in that order. And then uh, for the NEC as CLP nominations, I voted for um, Lauren Townsend and Lee Drennan who are both friends of mine and who are both on the left and who both actually uh, support a lot uh, a lot more democracy in the party and then for the uh, BAME um, CLP uh, NEC election, like for the BAME one, I voted for um, Naza Mishra and, <clears throat> and because on the Labour Party records I am listed as BAME because I come from an Asian background, I am entitled to vote in the uh, BAME uh, election. So why I voted for Rebecca Long Bailey as the leader of, of the Labour Party is because I feel like she understands a lot of what went wrong in the last election because like throughout Shadow Cabinet, because she was in the Shadow Cabinet in the last in the last show cabinet and like she specifically argued against a second referendum for the entire time but like, she was warning against a second referendum on brexit and because she is from the northern red wall she see she saw a lot of how they were angry at the labor party for basically betraying the Lab the british people on brexit and and that was a massive mistake for us we should have never gone into the last election promising a uh, a second referendum and um and uh, Rebecca Long Bailey is the only um leadership candidate who didn't support the coup in 2016 which caused us a lot of damage and if it wasn't for the coup we would have probably been in government in 2017 because we were only 2,000 votes away from um getting into government in 2017 if the if the statistics um are right so I think that I think that Rebecca Long Bailey is a real team player she supported Corbyn all the way she didn't try to backstab him and she really wanted him to be prime minister and I um, we didn't lose this election because of our socialist policies because our policies and our manifesto was probably the most inspiring manifesto that the Labour Party have released in like decades and and it was that manifesto that increased support in 2017 and what was the only difference in 2019 it was our brexit policy that was completely wrong which Rebecca Long Bailey argued against which is why I will be supporting her for leader and the Labour Party really need to be a, a working class party again and it needs to be for the working class and run by the working class and Rebecca Long Bailey doesn't only represent the working class of this country she is the working class of this country and i think she is the person to connect with the northern red wall again to basically rebuild that northern red wall which we lost because 50 seats that we lost in 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 um england in the last election they all voted leave so that is a massive disconnect there and also uh, the reason why i voted for was it rebecca was because she announced her support for open selections for parliamentary elections now open selection already happens within the labor party in local elections and i know a lot of how this process works because i've actually put myself forward many times to run for local government but i but that process of open selections in local government really gives people an opportunity to come forward and to stand for local council but the problem with 
the parliamentary process in the Labour Party right now is this is trigger ballot. So if you are unhappy with your local MP, you have to campaign against them. And it is a very negative connotation of campaigning against a local MP. So if so if it was local if it was open selection, just like it is for local uh, council selections for candidates, it's a lot more easier to basically get your foot in the door and it is a lot more easier to hold your local councillors to account and it is a lot more easier to convince people to come forward and to basically have a new generation of councillors and to basically give people a chance to put themselves forward with open selection and we have a lot of talent in this party and we have a lot of talent that is unused and we need to be encouraging more people to come forward as candidates which is why open selection for parliamentary candidates especially is a good thing because it works for local council elections and it will definitely work for parliamentary elections i mean like we've had incredible mps uh come forward in this last election like zara sultana is like my new favorite mp and i just like love her so but we need more Zara Sultanas in Parliament and the only way we're going to get that is open selection and encouraging new people to come forward, which is why I will always support open selection. And there is no bones about it, Rebecca Long Bailey is the left wing candidate. She is the candidate that we can support with our socialist policies and we need to keep Labour as a socialist party. And you know what? We cannot allow even one socialist policy to fall under the next leadership and we cannot allow our party to go back to the centre because that is not what the Labour Party was founded on and that was not what the Labour Party will be if it was under a Rebecca Long Bailey leadership. And I remember when Jeremy Corbyn first became leader in 15 and then when he got re-elected in 16 people were saying oh the hard left and the socialists and the communists have, have hijacked the Labour Party but newsflash the Labour Party have always been a um a left-wing socialist party but it was the Blairites and a new Labour who changed the party from 94 to 2010 so it was actually a new Labour who changed the party and took it away from its founding socialist roots not the other way around Jeremy Corbyn actually reconnected Labour with its socialist roots and we need a leader we can trust to continue on Labour's socialist roots and that in my mind is Rebecca Long Bailey and if I'm honest with you, a lot of the reasons why I voted for Rebecca Long Bailey is uh, the same <laughs> reasons of why I voted for Richard Bergen, so I will not repeat myself. But why I voted for Richard Bergen is basically because he is the left-wing candidate, he supports open selection, so it's basically a lot of the same reasons. And I am a bit disappointed in momentum in this whole leadership contest because they supported Angela Rayner for deputy leader, and even though I have no problems with Angela Rayner, the left-wing candidate in this election was Richard Bergen and I believe that Momentum should have supported Richard Bergen but then I know that I think there was like Angela Rayner was going to run for leader but then she decided to step back from leader to make a deal with Rebecca Long Bailey to basically run on a to run on an official joint ticket so I'm not sure how that works but basically Rebecca Long Bailey and, and Angela Rayner are supporting each other for lead and deputy so I think there was sort of like a deal going there which is why Momentum decided to support Angela instead of Richard Bergen. I'll say something about the whole nomination thing because because a lot of people were like basically bashing Young Labour for supporting Rebecca Long Bailey without actually balloting its members which is if you agree with if you agree with people um balloting its members then that's fine but if you agree with like a NEC sort of um sort of a thing that is elected by the organization to make the decisions and then they make the nomination then that's fine too but then you can't have it both ways when when an when a organization doesn't nominate the candidate that you want because because like Unison uh nominated Keir Starmer without actually balloting their members and then a lot of people who were supporting Unison were actually also uh, bashing Young Labour for supporting uh, um, a Rebecca Long Bailey without a ballot. So you can't have it both ways. Either you support a member's ballot system or you support an sort of NEC sort of system making the decision, but you can't have it both ways. And uh, I do want to say a bit about the like momentum controversy because basically momentum caused a lot of controversy by um by uh they did ballot their members on who they would support for leader and deputy but they only gave two options 
uh, which in hindsight is undemocratic. But I can un but I can explain to you why I think why I think Momentum uh, did that was because basically the two options that Momentum gave to its members is do you support a Momentum's recommendation to support or recommend Bay for leader, yes or no, and do you support their recommendation to support Andrew Rayner for deputy, yes or no. Now, I voted in that ballot because I am a Momentum member, so I voted yes for a recommend Bailey, but I voted no on Andrew Rayner because I wanted Momentum to because I wanted Momentum to support Richard Bergen. But the people who made those decisions to support Angela and and Rebecca, it was a committee that was elected by its Momentum members. So it wasn't as entirely as undemocratic as people were making out to be because the committee that made the decision, which then went to the members, was elected by its members. So it wasn't that undemocratic, but I can understand why people wanted every candidate to be on that ballot paper. But then, like I said, with the whole like unison situation, you you either support members' ballots or an NEC type situation but you can't have it both ways when a candidate you don't like gets endorsed by your organisation. And like when it comes to it, I mean like Momentum was set up by the left of the party so they weren't really going to endorse anyone else but but, uh, but Rebecca Long Bailey because Rebecca Long Bailey is the only left wing candidate in in the leadership election and then she made a deal with Andrew Rayner so Andrew Rayner wouldn't go for leader so they sort of have this joint ticket situation, unofficial situation. So that Momentum weren't, were always going to support Rebecca Long-Bailey, but then the whole deputy leadership is sort of uh, questionable because Andrew Rayner isn't from the Socialist Campaign Group and Richard Bergen is from the Socialist cam uh, Campaign Group. So this, you do have to work with all sides of the party. So yeah, um, that was just my thoughts on the whole leadership election. And I really hope uh, you who are, Labour members uh, do uh, vote in this upcoming election. If you haven't received your ballot yet, because today is the first day of the ballot, so if you haven't received your ballot yet, then don't panic, it will come. And uh, if you if you don't receive your ballot today, you will receive it any time this week. And you have till the 2nd of April, I believe, to vote. So please make sure you use your vote and please make sure that you vote for Rebecca Long Bailey for leader, Richard Bergen for deputy, and Lauren and Lee for NEC and if you are BAME you do get a vote in the BAME uh, scene as well. Yeah if you have um, if you have filled in the Labour's uh, ethnic minority survey on their website then you would get your vote in the BAME one as well and so please make sure you vote in all the elections that you are eligible to vote in. So that is that is really all, all I have to say for this whole leadership election and NEC ballots. So I hope you all have a good day and I hope you all get your ballot soon. And if you don't get your ballot, you should be getting it sometime this week. So thank you very much for your time and have a good day. Bye.